What can you do with a pipe, a ruler, a trowel, and a whole heap of mud? Come play in the mud with Ben. So here we are on the upper parts of the estuary. So the first thing we do is we chuck down our meter squared quadrat and got our bucket full of various things that are pr pretty useful to us today. But all we really need is a little piece of pipe in this case, but you can use a, a little can that you can cut off both ends, like a little Waddy's baked bean can. And simply all that needs to be done is you plough your little core into the sediment as deep as possible. And you take your trowel and you just cut around the edges so you can jam your hand down the side of the can. Pull out the core as easy as pie and then simply use your hands or your fist to extract the core back out of the pipe and you get a really good cross section of what the sediment looks like. What indicates the sediment oxygenation or the RPD is the colour change um, from is a lighter colour. So think about a, a, a sandy colour. Um, but when things start to lose oxygen, they get darker and darker. And we can see, obviously, this is really dark all the way to pretty much the surface. So it's what we call anoxic or completely oxygen deplete. So there's very little oxygen in the system. Um, so it's not surprising that I can't see a single animal living in the sediments in this location. There's a couple of little snails on the sediment surface here which scavenge around the top and get food that way but very little inside the sediments so just to get a a measure it's you could probably say around one centimeter for this anything above three centimeters deep um, in terms of that black layer is considered pretty unhealthy um, beyond that three centimeters um, is, is generally pretty good and you'll find some animals and sediments like that. So I'll just note that down. So now you've seen how easy it is to get a measure of how healthy an estuary is by looking at the RPD layer. This changes over different time scales. When it's happening really fast, we need to ask questions of, of why is this happening? What's happening in the, in, in the surrounding area of the estuary that's, that's making these changes? Obviously the animals need oxygen, and in this case they're not getting it. So it's a really, really important but really easy way for you guys to go out in the estuary, go into different areas, measure the depth of the RPD, take it down, you've seen how easy it is, and have some fun as well as answering pretty important scientific questions and conserving estuaries at the same time. Mm -hmm.